Today has been such an amazing day guys. It sure was. I really loved it when we went to the movie theater and saw Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. That was some film there. Yeah. Or that time we went to Six Flags and rode the roller coasters. That's a memory worth remembering. Yeah, after you barfed at every one of them. Ah, Denise. You know, I am really lucky to have friends like you three. Ah, Stacy. That's really nice. We are lucky to be friends with you. Oh crap. It's 7.30. Guys, I have to go now. I promised my mom I'd be home in time to help prep dinner. Well, okay. See you later, Denise. Bye. Take care. Thanks, you all as well. Speaking of which, I gotta get myself ready for tomorrow. It's going to be my first day in my summer interim job. Oh, great. I wish you well on the first day. Thanks. It's about darn time I get some working experience. See you later, Kyland. Take care. Well, Stacy, I too have somewhere to be, but I'll see you soon. Same here. I promised my younger sister I'll attend her band concert tonight. Don't want to be late. Okay, well you take care. Thanks. You as well. What the heck? Hey, Dustin, do you notice something off about the weather? Dustin? Okay, this isn't funny, man. You've played hide and seek tricks. You are not fooling me this time. Ha 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 ha. Who is laughing? This is not funny. Playtime's over, Stacy. You work for me now. Okay, one. How do you know my name? And two. Who are you? I am your new queen and you must obey my every command. <gasps> what just happened? Where am I? Stacy, are you okay? Laura, what happened? Where are we? I think we are in some kind of solitary confinement cell. Oh no. Did we do something wrong? I can't really remember much other than a glimpse of us being forced in one location. Stacy, this might sound crazy, but I think we may have been under some form of control these past few months. Well, that explains why I used to feel the urge to kill, steal, and destroy. But I never really want to do any of that. Me neither. And I think I recalled almost getting zapped to death by some crazy red-eyed girl. Claire, I think that is what I saw in my terrifying nightmare. She was being all weird and stuff. She somehow knew my name and claims that I now work for her and I must serve her. Okay, clearly something doesn't add up here. We somewhat remember being kidnapped by some villainous girl and her gang, mind controlled to do whatever and end up in a prison cell. Well, in other news. Where the hell are my glasses? I think that crazy red girl and her friends broke them. No! Those were prescriptions! Does she not know how important they are or how much they cost? No offense, Stuart, but we have bigger matters that need to be addressed. What the hell happened to us and why did we all end up here? We actually have an answer for that. Officers, what's going on? Well, about what's been happening to you all these past months and why you all are in here. The truth is that you all have been mind controlled by the evil girls to turn evil and do very horrific actions. This was the reason behind your disappearance, and your folks have been worried sick about you all. Fortunately, due to the fact that these actions weren't even in your controls, you all won't be facing any charges. And about the evil girls, they were defeated a couple weeks ago by some mighty heroes. They were sentenced to death for their atrocious crimes they have committed in the city and as well for the rest of the galaxy. 
From what I've heard, their sentence was also backed up with further consequences for nearly wiping out the entire universe that there is no humanly possible way they will come back. On the flip side, we would still have to explain this situation to your schools about it. Hopefully they'll let you back in, but for those who were supposed to graduate the previous year, you would more than likely have to repeat a year in order to get the credits you need for graduation. Oh my gosh. The evil girls really had screwed over our lives. I just got one question. How could someone have so much hatred to not only attempt to take out an entire universe, but get really petty and screw people's lives and dreams? That is just pure evil doing right there. Not to mention, even taking us to be their little soldiers to do their dirty work, they sure didn't treat us very kindly at all. I'm just glad the evil girls are no more and we are no longer under their mind control. Just one last question, how exactly did we end up here? Oh, well we found you all knocked out somewhere in the lair of the evil girls so we took you over here to make sure that all the evil and negativity is completely out of your systems. In other news, your folks are not disowning you in any way since we let them in on the full story on what has happened to you and today is the time you all can be reunited with them. Wait, really? Correct. Yes! I really missed my family so much. Me too. Come on, let's get you all reunited with your families. <laughs> Gosh, I really hope that Stacy is alright. Me too Mars, it has been quite a while since we last saw her, and considering the aftermath of the evil girl's defeat, there's no telling what lasting effect this will have on her. According to what the officers have said, your sister and the rest of the group are fully clear from the evil that was built up inside them. Which means that she and the others should be back to normal as we speak. Stacy. Blair. Stuart. Jesse. Claire. Jamie. Laura. Thank goodness you are safe now. We have been worried sick about you. Did anything catastrophic happen? We are just happy to have you back, Stacy. It's good to be back. You all would not believe the horrors of being imprisoned by the evil girl's control. It was non-stop torture. I never wanted to do all of those things. I'm extremely sorry for all the trouble. Those moments were do it or die. I obviously didn't want to do it, but they made me do it anyway. Despite their relentless dictatorship, they still punish us for their own flaws. Well what matters most is that you are now safe and sound and that you won't have to go through those trials any further. Stuart, whatever happened to your glasses? The evil girls broke them and used it as a form of torture since they viewed me to be very weak and incapable of doing their dirty tasks. I never asked for any of that. I wanted no part of their big evil project to begin with. Jesse, you're back. Sup little bro, glad to be back. I already knew that you would return. Hey there little sis. Thank heavens you're back! I missed you too mom and dad. There is Zago. I missed you too. We missed you as well Claire. We are so happy to have our big sis back. I'm ready to turn things around. Things have been very awful the past few months being captured by the evil girls and forced to do their bidding. But all of that is now over. It's going to take some time, but I will get back into the swing of things. I knew you weren't the mastermind behind those crimes. I'm so happy to be free from mind control. I never enjoy doing those awful things. But that negativity just kept pushing me. What matters most is that all of the evil energy is no more. Bring it in here.
Oh my gosh, you all will not believe how much I've missed you all. We have been devastated. We have been searching for you for days trying to get answers on where you might have been. Then come to find out an uptick on criminal activity, as well as more people going missing. When we finally got confirmation that you were kidnapped by the evil girls and forced to do their bidding, we panicked. I'm really sorry about all of that. I never wanted to go down that dark path. Is it just that the mad girl from the group kept yelling inside my head and forcibly gaining access and I just, just... We understand. None of this was ever your fault nor the other squad agents.